on the way to Hawkinsville, Georgia. Peaches to beaches. Gotta get me some gas and some cash. A little bit cloudy this morning, but at least it ain't raining. I love the knife hunt, guys. I hope I find something I've never seen before. Beautiful little sunrise this morning. That's a good sign. We're going to find some good knives. I'm also meeting my good friend over here, Mr. Wade Helms. He, uh, he's the one that really got me started in repairing knives. He introduced me to a whole new world of knives. Can't wait to see him. I got a few, got two little gifts to give him. That's we made it to Hawkinsville. You can tell I got my little carry bag from Roaring Fire. I'm done with my coffee. It's time to go find some knives now. Y'all got any pocket knives? What's up? <laughs> How you doing, man? Hey, you doing all right? What's yeah, up, bud? What's going on, bro? How you doing, man? I'm trying to break that off. 1980 10 dot. Beautiful bone handles. Not a crack, nothing on it, but somebody had sharpened the damn. I mean, it was just like two picks, and, I, and it needed to be uh huh, and put in two new blades and close it back. It ain't easy. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> it's not easy. It is not easy. It is not easy to do, buddy. Repairs don't always go as planned. Yes, sir. Guys, this is the man that introduced me to a whole new world of knives in repairing. <laughs> I love knives to start with, but this man brought introduced me to a whole new world of knives and, and to repairing them, finding them, cleaning them up. He's just a great guy. His name is Mr. Wade Hams from Rochelle. He's taught me a lot about knives. And I love him to death. And let me, let me tell you a little secret here. This is a fine young man right here. <laughs> He's an ex-Marine, and, and as the Marines like to say, Always, Once a Marine, always, always a Marine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but they are set up over here, y'all, at the uh, Get old Kenny on market. the camera. Get, you're on the camera, Kenny. That's Mr. Kenny. He's a big nice... You're on the camera. He's a big nice salesman. They love to do this stuff, and I love to go hunting for them. Wade, I'm going to ask you one thing, buddy. What are you carrying today? What's in your pocket? What, what knives uh, are you today carrying? Today, I have got... Oh, got to see you. or not... A Spyderco Delica. Uh-huh. And because it's a knife that I can pull out like we're doing here now, yeah. I can use the knife if I need to. Uh-huh. And and it and it uh is that a, a, a solid is that a, a, a sicky city? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. that's the real deal. You don't like the I don't want no I don't want no China <laughs> crap in my pocket. See that's where I got it from. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want no, I don't want nothing to do with China in my damn pocket. I'm mean, honest with you. They need to keep that stuff over there where it belongs. That's right. That's right. What else you got, Wade? I know you got one more. Oh, I don't think I got. I don't think I got uh, another one in, not in my pocket right now. Uh huh. Oh, uh, just a little fingernail. Well, thing. well, that's a good knife you carry, Wade. <laughs> While we doing like like, like we messing into these boxes. Normally, I got a case knife in my pocket, but I don't yeah. want case knives. I don't want to cut nothing with it. Right, I understand. You know, I, the, one, the kind of case I got, I just I don't want to pull it out and use yeah. it. You know, but now this one right here is, is check it, that one. That's out. a good. That's a good token. You know how much I paid? Just just check that one out. Guess how much I paid for? It. Hey. Look at the blades on that thing and listen to the snap. Trade USA. Primer 342. That's a good looking knife. I mean, it's a, it's nice I have I have been known to find these in boxes that just need to be cleaned up. Yeah. For two or three bucks. Really? I, well, I gave ten dollars for that at a pawn shop. Yeah, that'll work all yeah. day long. Yeah. That knife it, worth you know, thirty-five. Yeah. Forty dollars on eBay. I, but he, uh, USA's on it. Oh yeah. Not yeah. no China made stuff. That's right. That's right. <laughs> No, I, he's just going to rip him and mess him around and get ready to... That's the one that uh, you work with, right? Yeah, 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 there he is. I didn't hardly recognize him. 
When you first come up, uh -huh. I didn't hardly reckon that. Oh, really? I've only seen you like once or twice. Yeah, before. yeah, and it's usually you make it. Yeah. What, what, what y'all want for this? Watch it on YouTube too. Hey, buddy, I Look appreciate that. I sent you a package. Oh, you did? From uh, Matthew Hester. Oh, Nova. hey, Matt, Matthew, yeah. what's up, buddy? Nice to meet you. You too, man. Look at, look you too. Oh, nice. um, this is a subscriber of mine. He sent me a, a pet package, and his name is I'm Matthew Hester from uh, Dublin, Georgia. Or Dudley, Georgia. That's pretty cool, yeah, man. Figured I see him out here. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. Very cool. Appreciate you coming. Appreciate your support, man. Yeah, for sure. Now, now, what is that right there? That's, that's uh, Microtech. Microtech. That's that's not the out the front. That's the uh, flip out Microtech. I, style. I got you. Carbon fiber. Oh yeah, that is nice. It's not now. What what is something like that run? Uh, let's see what what's on it. I don't remember what exactly was on it, but if I ain't mistaken, it was uh, three something. What the kid three twenty nine or something like that. Uh -huh. Microtech. You know yeah. they don't play around. Yeah, that. they don't. They, yeah, they make they make good stuff. Hey, hey, Wade, let me see that boat right there in that plastic sheet. Right? Yeah, the seat right there. Right here? Uh-huh. That's a fillet knife, ain't it? I think it is, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, about Wow. Buck USA. Well, why do y'all want something like this? Maybe. No, probably, uh, probably five or six weeks. Uh, to give 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Well, I'll take that for 20 bucks. That's a nice knife. That's it a good knife. It is. It is. USA made? Yeah, oh well, yeah, definitely. Mm hmm yeah. yeah. Yeah, sir, I saw it. And uh let's see, we've got two we've got another buck in here, a folding buck fillet somewhere. Kenny, where's the folding buck fillet? Some boat. Boat? Yeah. Uh, we got this one here. And I'm gonna get that, that one sale. That's a buck USA. Forty nine ninety nine is what that one would sell for new. Never seen one of these before, but it's Buck USA. And this, this one is one. a pretty rare knife right I'm here. I'm going to pay 30 for that one. You hear me? And I'm that's, pay, that's a rare knife. Yeah, I ain't never seen one. And I'm getting 20, get this 20 for this one. And there is 20 on that one. All right. All right, there you go, I appreciate it. I know you give me 10. Can you give me a $10 bill, please? Two buck USA fillets. Thank you, Kenny. That, is that the $10, ten dollar box? Right. There you go, sir. Well, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. you very much. Yes, sir. It's a $10 box here. Give me. Hey, buddy. You get tired? Yeah. You get tired? Yeah, sometimes I just got to pull it out a little bit. Straight SG7. <laughs> Yeah. Short blade on it, but it's Yeah. You don't think he'll take twenty for these three now, do you? Huh? You think he'll take twenty for these yeah. three? Yeah. Ain't no problem. Put you put you another one on there. Look at that. Alright, I'm gonna do what, that what one. Gear is that? That's that's just a uh, a mess kit knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? For twenty? Yeah. Alright. Bottle jaw. You got any knives, sir? Some pocket knives? I like I like that answer. <laughs> Okay, bud. Ooh, what is this right here? Germany. Look at that. What do you want for this one? All right, I'll take that for a dollar. Some of the prices ain't right on it. So. Okay. Oh, yeah.
you got any more knives beside these in here? Is this all the knives you got? You got any more knives beside this in there? Uh, there's, there's a couple right there. Uh, yeah, those are Japan. Those, oh, what's this one right here? Okay. Old timer. Oh, wow. I'll oh, look at that one, too. Is that a Victorian? Yeah, it is a Victorian. Yeah, the blade. Swish on this yeah. Five. Look at this one. Okay. Crash. Watch you want for this one. All right, I'll take this for three. I'll do uh, three on this one. The blade is bad. You do three on that one? It's just narrowed down real bad. It's whittled down. Let's split the difference with four. All right, I'll do four. Is that seven? Yeah. All right, man. Seven dollars. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> this is old stuff here, y'all. Ten, yeah. ten bucks. Yeah, everything in there is ten bucks. Or less. You got to buy this for ten dollars. Very cool, and you don't find this stuff no more. Pump in your chest or your belly to get you to blow that breath out. But I never did have no trouble with it. And my sister and all there and said, I don't know how it just on and on and on. I don't see how the hell they kept you on separate. Actually, I can look by the date on this one, I can tell you it's carbon steel because there's no dots. That is a 1965 to 69 case double X. There's no dots on it. That was before 1970. So definitely it was carbon steel. Uh, Give me 40 bucks, man. And guess, I guarantee you, you ain't going to beat that on that down there. Hey, that's a good price? Yeah, that's a hell of a price on that down there. I do. I, I, I love, love these things. I use that a lot. I bet you do. Yeah. Yeah, this one needs a flint. Oh, do, you, do, do they all work that you know of, or they just... Yeah, a lot. See that hinge is messed up right there. Good thing about it, they send them back to Zippo and it's like, yeah, yeah. But will they replace it with that kind? Yep. Oh, really? Yep. I've sent a few of them back to them. Okay. And, it, and you know what? They sent me new wicks on there that gave me some splint, uh, uh, flints and all that. Really? They were really, really decent because I had a couple of them with broken hinges and stuff. Uh -huh. And I just packaged them, mailed them to them, and they redid it and sent it back to me. See, this is an 80. Uh, I've got, I, I get these symbols and bars mixed up. It's oh, so I know. Easy. It's so easy to do. It definitely is. I can yeah. see. You didn't give me your sight. You what you want for this one? Do you Which got one a thing to write it? It's that one right here. Yeah. You want me to mess here, up? Okay. Uh, I'll take seven yeah. bucks on it. How's that? Seven oh, bucks? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. I mean, I could use mine to bleed it. Awesome. Here, a little bit up on 341 between Hawkinsville and Perry. Got a little place on the left. I heard there was some knives up here. <laughs> Got people calling me telling me there's knives. Big area right here. Nice 
backpack right here. Nice X. Check that out. Beautiful right here. I got to do Let me tell you the story behind it, okay? 1936, Gainesville, Georgia. You know what Gainesville, Georgia is? Go ahead and get up there. You have 203 people. Oh, okay. And bottles by the land field were made out of stuff. So most of them from the 30s were bottled off. Yes, sir. No problem. No problem. My dad law would have had to get that dead so far. Killed 200 some people up there. Alright, these bottles right here, you know what they are? Are they ink dabbers? Yes. They're nice. I appreciate it. You ain't got no yeah. knives or anything, do you? Some pocket knives? No, he's got a couple. Which one? The guy right here. You know? Okay, alright. I appreciate it, buddy. Hey, man, how you doing, sir? Doing good, Dave. Yes, sir. Hey, 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 I emailed you the other day. Did you really? Yes, sir. No, you uh, did. Yes, sir. What's your I watch, name? I watch Jonathan. I watch your, uh, Jonathan. your channel. Jonathan. Braddy. Braddy. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a bunch of knives. And, Do you uh, really? Where are they Holster. I mean. All in here? here? Literally, you'll probably find something I'll from the start that. to end. But okay. I got knives here. I got, I got Did I respond? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Yes, sir. I, I tried to. I yes, get sir. so many, man. What was your first name? My name is Kevin. Kevin. Yeah, I, uh, I live down in Valdosta, so I don't know. I guess the algorithms crossed over and you were recommended to me so okay yeah, well yeah. good you know, well i appreciate that georgia so yeah well very, uh, very anybody cool anybody from georgia that likes old junk and stuff yeah like man that. i love yeah. and zippos too i love it yeah um yesterday i, I have one really good zippo uh -huh. but yesterday with madhouse i probably sold probably half a dozen yesterday really uh, actually zippo is the only one I can i step one. in here and you, yes sir yes, any anything that's closed oh open. yeah look here i love this stuff dig it out whatever you gotta do Military, a lot of stuff that you got that's on your channel. You know. Yeah, I've got it. You just gotta make a call. Okay, bud. I will. Well, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you. Uh, you you support me on YouTube. It's fun, man. Oh, I love it, really. There's a lot blade too. Oh my goodness. I've never seen one like this. It's a Camillus. This one. Look at that fish knife, y'all. Good. Or a hook remover. Dude. Yep, I already found me one, man. What you want for this one? Uh, That's a Camillus fish fish so knife. A lot of these. If, it's a lock if, blade, too. If I, if I buy a knife and I know it's good and clean and I forget what I paid for it, I'm, it's usually going to be that 10 to $15 range I paid. Uh huh. So something like that, probably 20 bucks. Is 20 on this one? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to make me a pile and we'll... Uh, there's literally a, a knife or two in, 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 in... Every... And there's some brokes. I know you do some repairs. I do, yeah. Yes, there's sir. some brokes. There's some good clean ones. There's brand new. Okay. And there's good old one conditions, you know. Oh, yeah. Like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got some empty pouches if you need to pair some stuff up. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they're just generic pouches. Very cool, dude. Um, Very cool. You know, move all these little toys and look like I will. Because you'll expose I definitely want this, this one, right. but we'll... I'm yes, going to make me a pile. Yes, sir. Okay. It's a 47 OT. Gerber Gator right here.
I can see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice knives right there. It's a good pocket carry. It's got a lot of blade. That's cool right there. Very cool. Check that out. Hoorah. In the right place. There's a boy scout Imperial. Ain't that cool? Yeah. That's different coming home with me. So probably I was working for Dish at the time, so I had to be like 2010 when I found this. Uh -huh. And I've never been able to find who this maker is. Let's see it. Huh. It says MC, so I'm assuming Mac something. Yeah. And then he had the key, so I was thinking McKee. Yeah. You know, something, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the steel number there. But I've, I've done McKee three or four different ways and never been able to find out who made that. But oh, even though the blade's bad, they yeah. did a really, really good job it's on a, that knife. That's a, a wonderful mm -hmm. knife. I mean, look at the profile. Look at the thinness. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's an expert yeah. knife maker, but I can't find out who made it. That's that is nice. So you found it just like this? Yeah, I found it about, so now it's been 14 years ago I found that. Wow. And, uh, just like that. There it is. That's ATS 34. I'll be dog. I wish I knew more about it. I mean, I, I guarantee they charged probably 150 250 dollars for it when they, it was brand new. Yeah. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind. Yeah. Um, it's pretty. But. Is that a trapper? Yeah, it's got a broke tip. Yep. Yeah. Um, how about um, fifty bucks? I'll do it. No, oh, that's probably a fifty dollar knife. I, I don't. I've never looked it up, but it's a great looking knife. Oh, it is. It is. I'll do it, bud. Yes, sir. All right. Let me put it in my bag, and I'll give you the cash. Thank you. Okay, bud. Right. What'd you say your name was again? It's Jonathan. Jonathan. Yes, sir. I'm gonna look for your email. Remember, man, I get so many. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Um, Picked up this queen too, guys, for ten bucks. It's an eighty-one queen. Pretty cool, ain't it? Okay, guys, doing good. This might be my last spot. Uh, stop. I'm running out of cash. <laughs> I knew I would, but uh just i'm meeting some of my subscribers it's so much fun y'all it really is i love this uh, i just met a police from valdosta he does this on the side part-time and bought some good knives from him and he had a book display case um i should have got um but i didn't bring enough cash you know i'm looking for knives i have a different place here on the side of the road What you want for this one here, bud? Uh, that was ten. So ten? Yeah. You, you take eight? Yeah. All right, we'll do eight. What's a knife out there? What kind of? Who, who, who makes it right there? I don't know who this knife is. It's a made in China knife. Oh, right, yeah. Right. What about that book right there? That's a, a Zippo too there, ain't it? Yes, sir. This book here. Is that a, a USA made? They don't say it is China made. You know what about all books are made in USA? No, you got uh, some made here and some made overseas. Well, that one sure don't say it's made in USA. Yeah. 
Why don't you want to buy this one? We're at 15 on them. 15. Yeah, it needs work, buddy. Yeah, you can get it. Appreciate it. Hey, what you want for these, bud? Let me look at them for them. We'll get you a sign, though. Yeah. Uh, about thirty-five dollars. Mm. That'd be like five dollars and something a piece. Five and a quarter. One, two, three, How about four, twenty-five. Five. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. The bottom of broken tips. Yes. Sir. See. Ya. Yeah, but they're kind of unique. Thank you, man. Sure, we thank you, man. Have a good one here. You too, yeah. man. Yeah. I got, I got, All right. We thank you, man. Guys, this is unreal. This place called Hinesville. It's like a big old flea market, and it's un freaking real. I, it's the first time I've done this. Next year, I'm bringing a lot more cash and. My wife's coming with me, my bird dog. <laughs> it's unreal how big this place is. And it's, I'm telling you, it's vendor after vendor after vendor after vendor. Uh, churches, parking lots full. Businesses, parking lots full. It would take you all day to visit every place. But we fixed to get out. A friend of mine is here, Mr. Michael Hale. He, uh, he's giving me some knives. I clean up, you know, the cop I was telling you about back home. He's over here. He said he's selling. And um, he said he's got me some stuff. So I'm looking forward to see what he's got me. So uh, let's go find him. There's a world famous Michael Hale. What's going on, man? What's How you up, doing? Mr. Bentley. <laughs> you doing all right? I'm doing wonderful, bro. You doing good up here today? It's starting to pick up now. Really? Oh, yeah. I've been up to Hawkinsville, man. I've been about been, uh, knifed out, man. How many of them bought? A lot. A good one? Yeah. Good yeah. That's a little imperial. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can date, date it real quick. That right there, that's made from 1955 all the way up to 1988. That, that stamp right there was used on that tank. But I'm thinking that's probably 50s, 60s. The way it's made. Oh yeah, very cool. Didn't I see you buy one of those? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought so. I, yeah, I bought those for you. Well, thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. What? You, so you gonna keep this one? I, I don't. I don't. What know you want for? I, I, don't, I don't know anything about. It. I paid fifteen dollars for it. Yeah, you did good. No, you did good. Yeah, that's, De yeah, that's December of 2010. You did good. Fifteen dollars. You did good, bro. Very good. A day off, guys. I'm gonna stop in the Strippings of Perry, Georgia, and get me some beef jerky. Fresh beef jerky. It's delicious. Got us some pound cake. That's a strawberry cake. That pound cake for my wife, and this strawberry cake is for me later tonight. <laughs> they got the best meats around, y'all.
And then uh, by this first big filet right here on the Uh, no, in the, in the back, a couple more. I'm sorry, yeah, that'll be yeah. 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 Sure. That's good right there. Well, anyway, guys, I had a ball. I really did. I was overwhelmed. And I started at 6.30 this morning. It is now 12.30. It's, uh... I'm tired. <laughs> I've done shop till I dropped and dropped a bunch of cash and uh, I'm ready to go home now. I got me some beef and jerky I'm going to be eating on the way home. It's about a 45 minute ride from here. But uh, it was fun. I really enjoyed it. Sure did. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. But uh, next year I'll be better prepared. I'll have my wife with me. I already told her she's going to take off next year. <laughs> uh, she's my little bird dog. She really helps me find some good stuff but uh i would enjoy it a whole lot more if she'd have been here um, anyway because she, she enjoys that kind of stuff anyway guys thank y'all for tuning in today i want to say god bless y'all and until we meet again guys y'all be like a good night stay sharp